So we filed IFR, and uh, the reason why we did is that there is a little spotty uh, layers here, and we like to go IFR. I just like going IFR. I like it. Uh, I think it's a good practice. I've talked to you guys about that before. I think it's just a smart idea to maintain your proficiency inside of the IFR system, and I think that's just a, a smart way to handle things. It works for me. I would highly suggest it for you. We're climbing to nine or thousand. We've been cleared on up to niner, and uh, we're climbing through seven thousand three hundred right now. Uh, one hundred and fifty-two knots across the ground. Indicated airspeed of one two seven, one twenty-seven. We've got uh, now a uh, oddly enough a tailwind as we climb. Uh, that's pushing us pretty good. We've got about a swig calculates out to about a seven knot tailwind. How does how do you do? How does it calculate out? Not. So this is not a direct tailwind, right? Yeah. So there's a component, right? So if it's a direct crosswind, a 90 degree crosswind from your track, there is no tailwind, no headwind. It'll just be pushing you. Uh -huh. But if there's a, if it's directly behind you, it's uh, whatever the wind is at that altitude, you get all of that for a tailwind. Yeah. But if it's kind of in the middle like it is right now, yeah. then there's going to be part of it that's a tailwind and part of it that doesn't function. So it's not full 15 knots that's pushing us straight forward. Yeah. It's what calculates out to about seven knots because I, I, there's a formula, there's a little wheel that you do to calculate that. There's a formula and all that. However, you take your track, you take your speed, you take a couple other things, and you know, you, it, it allows you to calculate that. An easy way I calculate that with this is I know my true airspeed. I'm traveling through the air, relatively through the air, at 144 knots, but yet I'm going across the ground at 149 knots. Oh, so you just cracked. Yeah, so I, it's actually making me faster across the ground because the ground is, in this scenario, stationary.